Hello and welcome to AA Connect, the podcast of the Automobile Association of South Africa. And during these podcasts, as you know, we discuss various issues around mobility and road safety. And we're going to take a little bit of a detour today. And I'm very happy and honored to be joined in studio today by Mr. Zuki Ngoli. I hope I've got that right, Zuki. You got that, Cliff. You're getting there. You I'm getting there. there. I'm getting there. And uh, Zuki is the team principal of the Zuki Ngoli hashtag Ride Uplift Cycle Team, and we'll get into that a little later. Zuki, absolutely wonderful to have us here today. And um, because this is a visual and a, a sound medium, there may not all, you know, not everybody's going to be uh, seeing you on, on, on camera and just hearing your voice. But you look absolutely resplendent today. Um, you're dressed very well. Do you want to take us through your, um, through your attire? Well, thank you, Leighton. Thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, it's, it's really a pleasure to be here and to speak to the listeners. Yes. Uh, both the viewers and the listeners. Yeah, my, my attire, this is my traditional attire. And uh, since we live in South Africa, I always put together a Rainbow Nation attire, both the West and the South meeting together. So I've got jeans uh, <laughs> on and I've got techies, but uh, I have an African shirt. This is done in Ghana. This, oh, nice. Uh, this, this white shirt I've got. Yeah. And then uh, this is Umpato, which is a, a, a kind of a traditional jacket okay. for the Kosa people. And it covers uh, your left side of your this, body. This now is covering my left side. But if I wanted, we are people of the blanket. So if okay. I wanted, yeah, yeah. I can open it up and cover myself. If oh, it nice. Was, it was cold. And uh, t tell me about um, the thing around your head. And and yes, the thing around my head is actually... Sorry, I didn't uh, mean to be disrespectful. <laughs> I say it's a thing around your head, but... Um, no, 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 that, that, that's fine. This is what uh, we, we wear. Um, so in my tradition, when you enter a house and you're wearing a hat, mm. you would take it off. Oh, right, okay. Uh, but this kind of attire now, I can go in and out of a house. It's, okay. Uh, it, it it's similar to a hat you can just in if for for everybody's sake yes. to say that's that's a cost of hat okay uh, this is yeah. worn by men yes um and then of course i've got the bag on the side okay which is called ingili okay and this is really where i put uh, all my stuff um, your cell phone and your wallet and your car keys and, and everything wallet, else that's right okay yeah. and, and you are from the eastern cape obviously i am from the eastern cape i'm Kosa, and i come from Ngeleni, mm. um, tata area there so we will get into exactly why you yeah a little later because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be listening to this or watching it and going okay so why is this guy um, in studio with sure. you but we'll get into that in a minute but before we do that um, just give me a little bit of background as to who you are because you're a very interesting character I mean you 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 you're not very um, easily pigeonholed into one thing right. you for the lack of a better term and if you'll excuse the pun it is intended right. you're a person who wears many different hats that's right that's right that's correct uh, Leighton I am first just from my name Zukisani Emanueli Kantonga Mkoli Unlovu would tell you uh, uh, how much of a traditional person I am mm. I, I am just who I am. And I dress like this every day, by the way. This okay, is not excellent. just for you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... I, well, it's I, a little disappointing, I, but okay. I, I, I did go special <laughs> with the colors for you, okay? I like uh, the yellow. That, that, I like um, the yellow. So Thank there's you. a color you no, might no, no, just no, I did love. pick up on that. Thank you very much, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and so... And, and this comes from uh, my belief that says we are created, all of us, in the image of God. And that is the first hat that I wear that of being an evangelist, a spiritual leader. Um, I go all over around the world. I teach, I preach, I minister, I lecture. Mm. Um, I, I, I bring people into a space where we can build them. Uh, from where they are, we meet them at their point of need. We don't necessarily, we build what we call centers of influence, uh, areas where we can meet the people at their place. What can we do? How can we uplift your lives? How can you know that there is a bigger world than just your circumstances and that those must not hold you back from being the better you? Mm. And that's that's the bigger me. Mm. And I go there with my Kosa attires because I'm saying you are created in the image of God. So you wear your stuff, I wear my stuff. Together mm. we can be stronger. That's one hat. And then mm. the other hat is that of an architect. I'm a professional architect. I'm a construction uh, builder. I'm a 
a property developer. Mm. So in the space of the environment, the built environment, mm. I play a lot there from the architectural plans to town planning, uh, right up to construction. I run a construction firm mm. and uh, we built uh, multi-million uh, properties uh, in South Africa. <clears throat> and these centers of influence, we don't just talk about them. Now, centers of influence are those buildings that benefit communities, mm. that is schools, clinics, hospitals, um, community halls, where a community, a stranded person, uh, an orphanage mm. can go to a building and find uh, help there. So your background as an architect, as a builder, uh, as a spiritual leader, as a speaker, as somebody who travels the world and 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 speaks to um, to universities and to groups, um, it's obviously given you. And I know Zuki, this isn't going to be disrespectful to say to you, but it's given you a certain financial position. That's correct. That's and. Correct. That, I think, is leading to where we're going to go today. That financial position is something that you are using for what has become your passion over over the past couple of years, and that is cycling. Yep. So um, tell us a little bit about how, first of all, you became involved in cycling. And, um, you know, the, the little bit of a backstory I know, and I think anybody who's listened to this podcast can relate, it all started with your wife. That's right. Yeah, I'm a big family man. I have five children of my own. Um, the oldest uh, working now and the youngest are twins. Uh, they are eight years old and, and everything in between. Mm. So I love kids. I'm a, a family man. I love my wife and uh, I listen to her as well. And <laughs> this one time we went to buy bicycles uh, at a local store for the kids. Mm. And uh, she thought there was one bike that she just felt that would suit you. Um, my wife is a fashion designer, so she dresses me up. And mm -hmm. so when she says that bike would suit me, I thought, okay, I'll take you up on that. I, I It was an e-bike and mm. I started with that bike and uh, enjoyed it, uh, rode it and uh, started switching off the e-mechanism of it. And from my 120 kilograms that I weighed then, I lost 20 kgs within that year. And that got me so hooked in, in, in cycling because mm. there's always a target with cycling. There's mm. a race coming up, so you work towards it. Mm. It can take you a year to work towards that race to do a good number there or a good result. Yes. And so that's what uh, hooked me in, into cycling. And yes, talk about the, the financial position, uh, being blessed with what I can do and what I can provide for my family. For me, it cannot only be about my family. It cannot only be about myself. Mm. And this is what led me to the passion of starting to give to others, especially in the cycling world. And that's where I picked up some kids here and there who needed a few items. And uh, I donated. So them. Zuki, I need an odometer. Or Zuki, I need that's a new it. tire. Or that's Zuki, right. I need shoes. Or And and that kind of started off small. That started but off But there small. was no coordination to that. Definitely, there was no coordination. And I mean, I was just giving from, I would look at your face. You just you just look <laughs> honest and, yeah. and, and innocent. So you would open the wallet and, and you and say, he has, has a yeah, hundred bucks or he has a thousand yeah, or whatever. And then the tire. And, mm. uh, and go, I mean, I would necessarily give money, mm. but I would give the item that, yes. that they needed. And, okay. and in cycling, these range from a tube, which is a couple of rands, to an indoor trainer, which is 28,000 right. rands, to a bicycle itself. It's not a cheap be, sport. Not at all. It's quite an expensive sport. Yeah. And uh, for me, I can get away with not having everything in cycling because I'm not that competitive. Right. Um, I, 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 I am uh, to my level. And, yes. Uh, and my wife didn't know. But you're not, you're not riding professionally. But I'm not riding professionally. Right. But for the professional athletes, uh, it, it, it gets very expensive so, very quickly. So, so you you're in the situation where you've kind of begin to develop this passion for cycling. You do a lot of research on it. You've got the e-bike switched off. You're beginning to ride on 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 road, and yep. and and people are coming up to you. And obviously, you know, people know your situation, and they're saying, you know, Zuki, can you help me? And you start helping them out. But something in your brain clicks, and you say, but hang on a second, I I I can do more. 
not only I can do more, but I want to do more in terms of the sport that I'm beginning to love quite a lot. How does that how does that process unfold? And and that's clicked in mainly by what I never thought of, you know, when, when you give as much as you are giving and you're saying, go enjoy this. But when you see people <clears throat> abusing it, mm. uh, the gift, mm. um, the next day you check up on it. Well, how, how is that uh, bike treating you? Oh, no, it was stolen. And mm. like, oh, I mean, you didn't even have the courtesy to tell me. Yeah. And I'm not saying this must stop people from giving, but rather get it coordinated. And this mm. is what drove me into coordinating it. And I said, instead of just giving randomly to, to people and say, okay, there you are, go away. Uh, let me take a couple of youths, youngsters, put them under my wing, uh, build a team mm. uh, and help them through the sport, not only for a once-off race or for a once-off event, but uh, throughout their career in mm. cycling as much as, as and as long as we can. So if you're going to be spending money on it, let me spend it wisely and actually get something not only for myself, but for the people involved at the end of the day as well. That, that's the motto for me. Uh, and, 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 and this, <laughs> as much as giving, people may think, oh, but you're wasting money. Every time you give, blessed is the hand that gives and the one that receives, you will get benefits. Right. My cycling has improved because remember at my age and I'm riding with youngsters at 14 years, 20 years old, trying to chase them. They've improved my cycling mm. uh, a lot. And, and, and there's, always benefits meeting these lovely people will take you to the next level just as a person i'm a big community relationship person mm. and for me those help so you're listening to aa connect the podcast of the automobile association of south africa and we joined in studio today very honored to have mr zuki morley with us here today zuki tell me a bit about um zuki morley hashtag right up lift the team and that's the name of the team you've hit it right on the head we've called it by my name um, as the principal, as the one who will strive to assist the kids as best as I can. Um, but then we call it hashtag ride uplift. And ride uplift simply says, as English says it, you ride and uplift someone else. Mm. So even the riders themselves, they have a responsibility. Mm. They don't look at me as a sponsor or somebody who must just, at the click of their finger, give and give and give. They must make sure that they uplift others as well mm. in their riding. Uh, how they do that, we have gone through all the categories from the youngest under 15s to the elites who are 25s and uh, close on 30. Mm. We have mm. all the categories. The big guys, they know they need to help the younger guys. We have ladies and uh, gents in the team. And as you know, uh, sport ladies race alone. Mm. Mm. Now, the advantage with my team is that when we're training, my ladies are training with the boys and right. they are is to catch those boys and beat them. Mm. And when it comes to a race, they are now racing with ladies. So they mm. have a foot in, you know, an, an mm. advantage. And so that's the ride uplift concept. But it doesn't end there. For me, I said to the team, to my whole family, the community that we've built, this can't be just about cycling because mm. that span in a person's life is limited. Mm. Mm. It's going to come and end. Uh, you've got about 30 years or so. Mm. In fact, it may be shortened by an accident. Yeah. You know? And yeah, you can be a paracyclist, you can still continue, but it, you may just not be able to. So what about life itself? So we look at uh, the ride uplift concept is about life itself. Mm. They must be involved in education. Yeah, their education comes first. Cycling comes first. Education comes first. There's mm. no one after the other. Work for those who are working, they must be diligent. They must be early. They must give their best. I even tell them, sometimes they say, oh, I'm not allowed to come to training because we've got a lot of work at, uh, to do, uh, to finish. Mm. I say to them, excel at work. Do more. You, you, have, you have been given five days. Do that work in three days. Mm. Go back to your boss and say, can I get more? And mm. they say, okay, you can go and ride your bike. Right. <laughs> you know? don't, don't be, oh, my boss doesn't want to let me go. No, you excel. Mm. and see if you they, they won't allow you. Mm. Uh, and this goes also with health. Mm. You need to make sure that they are healthy, they eat right, they sleep well, and their safety. Total and management. Total management. So, I mean, your team has grown over the past year. You've got 20 riders now. That's a considerable team that you've put together, and they're performing well. They're performing very well. And I always say this, I'm, I'm just 
it, it's not even about me. They, they want to impress me, I know. Mm. But for me, it's about them. Right. You are your own competition. Yes. Excel better for your own self. Right. And they are doing this through and through. Which brings me, I think, to the the heart of the conversation that we're having now. Um, you are the team principal of a cycling team. We are the automobile association. How do we fit together? So, uh, in the concept of total development, yes, there is what is a sh- sadly uh, uh, happening in our country of safety. The issue of safety, mm. um, the issue of our roads uh, being in bad state and cycling i mean it doesn't matter how good a cyclist you are you are vulnerable mm. when you are on that bike and uh, a car comes you, between you and that car you have no chance mm. uh, thieves who are in a corner waiting to gang you or you, you don't have a chance and mm. for us collaborations where we can say hey can we meet with people companies who have been in un- other industries that affect us or you know have something to do with what we are doing we can find a space to work together mm, mm. this is what brought us together to mm. say hey, hey you are out there you are on the roads you are involved in the safety of not just motorists but pedestrians everybody mm. yeah, all road people, users all road users mm. We are a road user mm. as, a, as a cycling team. How can we put this together? And so um, one of the things that flows from that is that you are very excited, obviously, about this concept of the Remy Amica, the device that we have that, that gives you security and medical, medical rescue. How do you think that is going to make an impact uh, for your team and for the members who have that device. And I tell you, the excitement shows in how I'm dressed for you today. With the yellow. No, I love it. <laughs> you know, um, for me, I mean, when I heard about this, I read about it, I listened to the podcast that you did, and it's such a wonderful tool. It, mm. it, it's overdue. I'll tell you personally, when I go for a ride, uh, especially alone, mm. I will then take my phone and, and put uh, a send to my wife a location, a live location, that's the word I'm looking for, yeah. on the WhatsApp. Right. And then I put my phone in my a pocket and I write right. so that at any time she can know where I am. Yes. Um, then the Garmin uh, that I use, which is an expensive device, um, you won't get a good Garmin less than 8,000 red. Right. You need to spend quite, an, well, quite a good amount of money to get that device. Uh, that device has a, a, a feature where if I crash, it can report to my wife. Mm. But this is an expensive device mm. and I'm saying... I'm fortunate to be able to buy this and afford this. Mm. I'm fortunate to be able to have a phone, a smartphone mm. that can do this. But what happens when, one, to people who cannot afford this? Mm. Mm. Two, when the thieves and the robbers and the, these guys come, the first thing they do is to take that bike, which has the garment, so that's gone. Mm-hmm. And then the second is to take that phone. Right. And then that's gone. And then yeah. you are stranded. Then you're what stranded. then happened? Yeah. And when I heard about the concept of the Remy, which is a tool that you can put anywhere now in your in, around your, in your or wear it on your wrist or, or yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you can put it in your uh, anywhere to mm. make sure that it's it's with you as mm. the person. Mm. This mm. tracks you. This does exactly what the two. Now I I needed to have two yes. to to complete what this one device does. Right. This excited me the most. Now I can click this on. My wife at any time can track me, can mm. know exactly where I am. And right. I love to be tracked by my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I must just say yeah. that. <laughs> and, and then it has the feature, which is also uh, provided by, by this other provider, which for me is a little on the expensive. But with this tool, if I crash, it will send a signal. Yes. Uh, it can make the call. It's got call. that fall over protection for you. You can make the call. So even if they come, and God forbid, we don't want them to come, but even if they do and they take everything, I still can call for help. Yes. I can have immediate uh, backup assistance coming to where I am to pick me up. But for your riders, if, you've, if, if your riders have got this, you know where they are at all times as well. Now, now that goes even beyond for me. Now, I just started with my myself now, which means the tool can be used by anybody, whether mm. you are riding professionally or not. Mm. But now, 
think about the masses that are riding out there. We had a case where an athlete just disappeared. We went for a ride and no one knew until the next morning. Wow. And you know what happened? It's a, just what you can think. They robbed him, beat him up, took the bike, but they beat him up to a pulp. Mm. Well, actually thought he was dead. Wow. And then took to hospital, he survived. And the trauma of the family, <clears> the whole <throat> night not knowing um, until he could be conscious to make the call. This would have been avoided. The mm. family could have reacted also uh, quicker. So now with my team, I'll know exactly where they are. The parents now, I've, I've got a full community of parents who can also know where their riders are at any point. I always right. make sure that my team uh, parents know when you're having a training ride, you know, that accountability. Mm. Uh, and now we can even know the speed at, at which, which they're traveling. They are traveling. Mm. And, and this is very key because yeah. cycling is about numbers as mm. much as it's, it's an exercise, but it's about numbers. Mm. You all must push the numbers. And you can now start to translate this information to the coach and, and, and the coach can then know what to do in terms of uh, making the progress. So better. it's not even, I, I mean, the, the Remy Amica device, um, uh, which is small enough to fit into the palm of your hand. I mean, it does have a function where if you press the alert button, you have access to, 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 to over 180 security providers who will come to your location if you're in need. It does have a function where you can have a medical rescue, um, you know, and, and those functions are available. You can make a call from that device to pre, pre, preloaded contacts. But I think more importantly, from your point of view, is the tracking functionality in this That's it right. kind of locates you wherever you are and as you said i mean it replaces you know two or even three devices right. into one very small device so that does give it the power of many different things in a very small uh, unit and and i think as a team principal as somebody who's managing a team of cyclists this is actually very useful to you without a doubt this is what every team would now want to go for because right. you can almost at any point know what's going on in the race. Now, you've got riders training, which is fine. When you are training with your team, you can have a follow-up vehicle. Yeah. But during a race, it's it's different. Uh, mm. In our team, we've got different categories and we can't follow all of them. Mm. But while I'm following one group, mm. I can know exactly what's going on in the other group. Exactly. Uh, I can be able to track that other group. And in time, we are going to have the earpieces where we could even tell the, the, the riders that at that speed, you need to increase that. You need to you know, yes. maybe slow down or go. You still have a lot. You still have a, a climb coming. Yeah. So you, you, this, this is going to assist cycling in, in yeah. both professionally and just the social riders. Yeah. Because everyone who comes out of their yard, they're concerned about safety. Mm. And this gives you a peace of mind. Mm parents to know where their children are children to know where their parents are because i cycle and my kids are saying daddy be safe out there yeah, yeah. and 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 they will and you can actually do it without your cell phone i mean you can leave your smartphone at home you can get on your bike you can leave the garment at home and you can just go and you can just go and and this for me is the peace of mind is 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 valueless you yes not beat that no, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that feedback on that. I think one last question from, 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 from my side, uh, Zuki, is, you know, you touched very briefly on this issue of, of road safety for cyclists. But road safety is, it, it's not only that cyclists must take responsibility for their own road safety. And yes, we know that there are some roads that aren't in, in top, top condition and that, that do pose a problem. But at the end of the day, we as South Africans, anybody who's going to be mobile on a road, a road user needs to understand that if we're in a car, if we're on a, on a bicycle, if you're on a motorbike, even if you're walking on that road, the road belongs to everybody, right? That's right. That's right. And, and this is why the, it's the greatest thing, the Remy, because now you can have it if you are a pedestrian, you're just walking. Yes. You just take a walk. Mm. You just chuck that and you can know exactly where that is. And it fits into is. your pocket or as we said, on your wrist or around your neck or around whatever the case is. And, and so even now with your own car, because remember, you, you're using Uber. You mm. know, you're using a public transport. Everyone can know where their kids are, where their elderly is. Uh, yes. Every road user. You can put it in your luggage. Mm. And this is what I love. I do quite a lot of traveling uh, extensively around the world. I have lost luggage. 
<laughs> you know, I think we all have at some point. They will tell you, we think it's this place. So now we have to call. I would even be so kind to tell them, no, I know exactly where it's at. You left it in Dubai. So would you just call the Dubai yeah. guys and bring and it have back? it over? And and now you can know when it lands, and you can then go because between the time it lands and the time they bring it to your hotel, it could be a day over. Yeah, you know, uh, you might even be finished. So this is this is a device that works even internationally, and for me, mm. that's excellent news for you. Excellent. Where do you see uh, um, your team in a year or two? Overseas, uh, well stage. We are, we call ourselves Africans of influence. We want to be Africans who are known for what they do, who excel in what they do. Um, and when I say Africans, I mean white, black, pink, yellow, and blue. Everyone in this South African rainbow nation has a right to go and represent this country overseas. And the biggest of them all uh, in terms of races is the Tour de France, which mm. will be coming up in uh, weeks time now mm. and uh, we have riders who have the potential to make it there and excellent for them to make it there we need to do our best to protect them at home and keep taking them overseas to gain the experience mm -hmm. periodically yes and with time we will make well i mean we're on the ground floor so when a, when a team from uh, when a rider from team zuki gets there uh, we, we will claim a little bit of uh, of the um of the honor. Definitely. Uh, saying there. Definitely. Zuki, thanks so much. It's been great having you in studio. I really Pleasure. appreciate it. Um, that is uh, Zuki Nkoli, uh, the team principal of Team Zuki Nkoli, hashtag Ride Uplift uh, from, from Johannesburg. And this has been uh, AA Connect, the podcast of the Automobile Association of South Africa. Thank you for listening and tuning in. Until next time.